An interesting thing recently happened. Paul uh, Hellyer was um, interviewed. Uh, he happens to be a former defense minister of Canada. Now, it was back in the 1960s, but obviously an incredibly important position. Uh, and it turns out uh, he not only believes that there are aliens, uh, but that we have plans for them and they come to visit us fairly regularly and that there are many different types of aliens. I didn't know that. Hmm, interesting. So he explains, look, we have a long history of UFOs and, and of course uh, there's been more activity in the last few decades, of course, uh, since we invented the atomic bomb. They're very concerned about that and the fact that we might use it again. Oh, I see. So the Defense Minister of Canada apparently uh, knows their intentions as well. I don't know how they communicated that to him, but he was a defense minister. Maybe they sent out a satellite back in the 60s and had some conversations like, you know. Oh, okay, and what do you think, Mr. Alien? Oh, okay, so you're concerned about our atomic bombs, I got you, okay. Now look, do I think that there is life forms outside of this planet? <laughs> I would be shocked if there weren't, right? Why? It's a big, big universe. You think, I mean, what hubris to think, no, no, no. This tiny little planet here in the middle of our universe, only one. Only one where life came about. That seems, well, improbable. Now, did they actually arrive here? <laughs> okay, if they did and they communicated with this guy, I'd be a little surprised, right? Uh, but I have no opinion on that. What I do have an opinion on is the mental well-being of Paul Hellyer. Because he goes on to explain that there are in fact 80 different species, seems like a very specific number, they regularly visit Earth, and uh, he in fact has some names for them. Uh, they're apparently known as the Short Greys, the Nordic Blondes, I didn't know that aliens were Nordic, that's interesting, and the Tall Whites. Now I know this is just a uh, way of referring to them, uh, <laughs> but he gets more specific. He says, he quote, he claimed uh, the Tall Whites are working with the US Air Force in Nevada, well of course they are and that two women from that species had dressed as nuns and went to Las Vegas to shop. Now, look, to give the guy credit, if aliens did land, they would probably go to Vegas first. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, that, yeah, that's for us. And besides which then, we wouldn't get to find out about it because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Okay, anyway, now my favorite part of all this, I don't know why, but I'm obsessed about this part, is that uh, he says that they come from Venus, Mars, and Saturn's moon, Andromeda. So look, could they come from a far away universe that we're unfamiliar with? Yes, I think they could actually. Could they come from Mars? No. They're not hiding underneath Mars' surface, okay? Because Mars we can actually see. We can see Venus. There, there's no like Nordic blondes and tall whites over there. It's amazing to me that a guy like this was the defense minister of a major country. Just because somebody is in a position of authority doesn't mean that they're mentally sane, okay? So just keep that in mind. And it isn't, I know they did a lot of drugs in the 1960s, okay? But it isn't just about the 1960s, okay? So when you see these guys, you think they're all like, oh, no, no, he's in a position of authority. So he must have th th things figured out. A lot of them are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Remember this guy the next time you trust someone in authority.